think my quest to find an affordable yet stable carrier for my e-bike has finally come to an end. Maybe the confusion in finding the right bike carrier for your vehicle lies in the name of the item. You can search for bike racks, bike carrier, hitch mounted bike rack, foldable bike carrier, platform style bike carrier for your vehicle, or hitch rack with foldable arms. Today I'm reviewing the Capstone Hitch Mount 2 Bike Carrier. I've tried a few other bike racks for my car and they didn't work out that great for me. I just figured my budget wasn't high enough to get a real sturdy carrier built especially for heavy e-bikes. At first I tried out the 4 bike carrier with folding arms because the weight limit on it was plenty since I'd only be hauling around one bike. I found out real quick that the problem with this was the arms that hold the bike in place are up too high to lift a 50 pound e-bike on and off. Then once you did get it up on the arms, you had to shimmy it past all the other mounts that are in place for the other bikes. There wasn't much clearance with my bike frame to slide onto the arms and always felt like I was going to rip off a brake or derailleur cable, not to mention rubbing the paint off my bike. The first platform style carrier I tried said it worked great for e-bikes of all sizes and held the weight just fine. I could tell when I placed my bike on it that it wasn't going to work out. It wobbled and swayed from side to side so bad that I thought for sure my bike was going to fall off going down the interstate. After returning this bike carrier, I came across the Capstone Hitch Mount 2 Bike Carrier on Amazon, coming in under $200 and a bunch of great reviews from actual e-bike owners. It has a two-piece design that I was a little skeptical of, but it actually works out great. The first thing you'll notice when you get the carrier is that it's heavy, like real heavy, probably heavier than my bike. They do give you a little assistance by suggesting you install the bike rack while the main piece is connected to your vehicle's hitch. This actually works as a vise and holds the rack in place while you put all the other pieces on. You'll notice I didn't take advantage of this helpful tip for the sake of this video, but it would have helped a lot. Here are a few details worth mentioning before testing the bike carrier. The reason the rack comes in two pieces is so you can turn it to the side while you're driving without a bike on it, so it's not sticking out of the back of your vehicle as much. This is actually a pretty nice touch and easy to operate. There's a key lock on the top section of the carrier to prevent anyone from taking your bike while it's still attached. I thought that this wasn't very effective because someone could just take the main piece out of the hitch on your vehicle and get the whole thing but there's an anti-wobble mechanism inside the hitch mount that's activated by screwing in a bolt and fastening it to your hitch. If someone's carrying around a wrench and wants to take the time to get this unassembled, then it's still possible that they can steal your bike and your carrier. It's going to be a pretty heavy package to steal though. I would have to just suggest using a bike lock to secure it onto the carrier and not leave your bike unattended for too long. The carrier comes with two sets of wheel holders for carrying two bikes. You can leave the other set off if you're only going to be hauling around one bike. The wheel holders adjust side to side to fit pretty much any size bike. One thing I do suggest is trying to center the weight of your bike at the center of the carrier. My e-bike is heaviest towards the back wheel where the motor is, so I position the back of my bike a little closer to the center on the one side just to help balance it out. This carrier is fully functional offering three different positions depending on what you're doing. When you're carrying your bike, it will be in the straight out locked position. The arms fold up and the rack tilts down to gain access to the rear hatch. And when the rack isn't being used, you can fold the arms up and swivel it to the side. Alright, let's test this thing out on the road and see how it does. I don't know, it looks like it's doing pretty good back there. I guess you have to expect a little bit of sway, but it's a lot better than the last one I had. At least I'm not worried that it's gonna fall off my car in the middle of the interstate. We'll drive it around a little longer and see how it does. We're going to keep putting this thing through the test. I want to see how the welds hold up after continuous use. Maybe bring it down some bumpy dirt roads or something. So far it's doing great, so I'll make sure and post a follow-up video if anything happens. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell down below so you don't miss any upcoming videos. We have a lot of new videos coming out to help you create some amazing content from all your outdoor adventures. Until then, we'll see you again in the great digital outdoors.